In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the containers for measuring, add, weight, add to the weights, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly man for silver and the poor man for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun set at midday and cover the earth with darkness in broad daylight. I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. I will cover the loins of all with sackcloth and may every head bald. I will make them mourn for as for an only son and bring their day to a bitter end. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, when I will send famine upon the land, not a famine of bread or thirst for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. Then shall they wander from sea to sea and rove from the north to the east in search of the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice, give me life. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our story in today's Gospel passage is one that we know well. Matthew, the tax collector, and presumably a sinful man, followed Jesus and ate with him, as did other sinners. The Pharisees objected to this because it violated their laws regarding ritual purity. In Jesus' response to the objections of the Pharisees, he echoed Hosea when he said, Go and learn the meaning of the words, 
I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Jesus was referring to the acts of temple sacrifice. If mercy is above these sacrifices, then how much more is it above the rules of ritual purity? The Pharisees knew scripture well. They knew the law well, and they saw adherence to these strict laws in every aspect of life as doing the will of God. Yet Jesus put mercy and love above these laws and traditions. St. Paul affirmed this in his first letter to the people of Corinth when he said, If I speak in human angelic and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Mercy springs forth from love, not righteousness. Mercy is the voice of God's love for us and his desire that we have life and that we have it to the fullest on this earth and in the kingdom to come. Exclusion and criticism of sinners, of those whom Jesus came to save, is really not part of a merciful response. A number of years ago, Pope Francis addressed 14 people who he had just elevated to the rank of cardinal with these words. He said, none of us must feel superior to anyone. None of us should look down at others from above. The only time we can look at a person in this way is when we are helping them to stand up. As we seek to answer the call to spread the good news, let us pray that the mercy and love of God may be the source of all our actions, words, and attitudes toward and behalf of the people that we are called to serve. As a people of faith, believing in God's goodness and providence, we now turn to him with these our prayers. For the church throughout the world, that its leadership and membership may always be concerned for the spiritual and temporal needs of the world, especially those of the sick, the suffering, the hungry, and the oppressed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who look down on others and judge them, that God may bestow on them a spirit of mercy and understanding, as well as a spirit of humility, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may be truly welcoming to all people who come to our door, that we may recognize that we are all sinners in need of God's mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the Cutter or Miller family for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities and hospitals, and those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, the light of Jesus has scattered the darkness of hatred and sin. Call to that light, we ask for your guidance. Form our lives in your truth and our hearts in your love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, 
Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccat amundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.